Hello, welcome to bank time. Um, basically, if Chris is out fishing with me, um, it's back at the landing net. If it's just me, um, it's bank time. Um, but I'm here today uh, with a couple of good friends, uh, Charlie, Ian and Adam, uh, who I've known for a number of years. They're all on the Mistral Baits team. Um, we, we tend to have these socials uh, once or twice a year. Uh, and it's really more about um, getting together, having a few drinks, um, having a catch up, uh, than so much the fishing um, but we you know we tend to book lake exclusives like 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 this um, we, we fish um, blue pool um, regularly um, churchwood fisheries uh, redmire um, sessions I've done with these guys and um, yeah it's always always a good crack uh, fishing is usually always secondary um, but cracking venue um, not a lot um, of information about it on the internet um, but it's got a good head of 30s um, the owner was saying 15, 16, 30s, potentially a fish that, that does 40 at the moment. Um, some big bream up to 15 pounds, tench up to 8 pounds. Uh, fishing all from one bank. Uh, there's 12 swims, a couple of them aren't fishable really. Um, but you know, it's a stunning lake. Most of the fish, um, bar one mirror carp, um, are 20 pound plus. Not a huge stock from what I understand, um, but we have seen a few um, milling about on the surface um, since we've been here. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've picked swims that are sensibly spaced but still quite social. Um, we're expecting some awful weather so we've popped up um, a gazebo there so we can have a bit of a barbecue and a bite to eat later. Um, my approach, I'd, I'd first pick a swim so I've got a lovely swim here. Um, there's some fantastically large groupings of of lilies uh, which look like no-brainers um, again because you can't fish from the uh, far margin it does make it quite appealing to get a rod there because it'll always be quite quiet um, so yeah right now it's during the day it's quite hot again the weather's going to be quite changeable I've put a zig on the middle rod um, because I am seeing fish um, out there I'll pop the deeper out and uh, it's showing fish um, at about four and a half foot. Uh, we've got depths of about nine to 11 foot across the swim, so quite a deep water. Um, try and pick one off with a zig. Um, the other two kind of fish in the pads, a minimal bait. Uh, because the bream in here, apparently quite big, I'm using um, a mixture of Atlantic crab, um, sweet corn, um, and a, a bit of pellet in there, uh, but not, not a very big um, offering. Uh, really I want to kind of try and pick out one fish at a time but yeah so we're up and running um, if the other lads catch anything um, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of update that as, as we go and show you their fish um, but you know some good anglers here so hopefully between us um, get to show you a couple of these fish There we go, um, second fish for me because I've just put back a really small bream. Um, not on the carp, um, but the other fish are certainly uh, liking the sweet corn and hemp and pellet I'm putting down. If too much more of this happens, then probably have a little rethink and, and fish with the boilies, but that is a lovely sized tench and uh, you can't grumble that. Let's get him back. There you go, um, lovely tench. Um, I've had some bream, I've had a couple of bream as well. Um, been about that big, um, really nothing to write home about. Um, but you know, if, 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 if nothing else, it shows that um, the spots I'm fishing on are, are clear, um, bait's presentable <laughs> to the wrong fish. But, but you know, um, it is what it is. It's early days um, to kind of have um, three bites, nice tench, a couple of bream. It's better than a blank, just. Um, but I know the spots are clear, the rigs are good, presentation's good, so it's all little things that kind of give me a bit of confidence that I can build on. So uh, we are oh, fish top over there. Um, we're going to have a barbecue in a bit, so I'm going to crack on, get myself tidied up and uh, catch in a bit. Good morning, um, and it's been a terrible night's sleep to be honest. Um, little single beeps, um, 
persistently throughout the night. I caught another couple of very small bream. Um, I think I'm up to uh, four bream um, and, and that tench that I showed you. So um, yeah, frustrating, frustrating because there's definitely been carp in and around those lilies and on the spots and feeding in the areas. So it's just frustrating that the fish that have been taken have, have been them. But you know, back on the spots, persevere. Um, slightly increased um, the size of my hook baits and kind of freebie offerings um, but that's all you can do. Finish the coffee and I'm going to go and have a shower. Um, got nice shower facilities here and another little nice touch you can see the end of my car there and my bivy you can get right up close unload all your stuff um, leave the car there I've got next to nothing in my bivy nearly all of my gear and bait and bits and pieces are in the car so really really convenient um, yeah, it's a really, really nice fishery actually, uh, really nice. Owner Carl um, gave us a, a walk around every single swim, um, gave us some of the latest information um, and some tips. So yeah, really, really welcome. Uh, lovely place. So uh, yeah, some good news though. Not long ago, Adam has slipped um, the net under what was an absolutely stunning mirror carp, um, just over 20 pounds, um, but absolutely beautiful. Um, it got caught, it, it caught it from the far far margin. Um, he's fishing in uh, peg uh, seven, so far margin, there's a little gap there. He's caught it out of there. It's come back and it's got snagged on the near left tree line. And uh, he's actually got in with the waders to kind of free up uh, the fish and kind of hook it, um, sorry, land it. Um, whilst in the water so um, yeah a bit of a team effort all four of us were out involved shining head torches directing making sure he was safe um, so yeah absolutely fantastic fish and, and absolutely buzzing to see a fish out to be honest so uh, you know if that's one of the smaller ones in here um, if that's what they look like then you know we could be in for a right treat if we could get one or two more um, but you know job done from his perspective right finish this, have a shower, get freshened up and uh, go again for another day. Right, all of the rods are back out, um, all in good positions, so uh, nothing left to do now but to uh, hopefully wait for one of our rods to go and uh, tuck into a barbecue and have a cheeky little bud light, why not? There we go, a 25 pound four ounce common carp and uh, caught from a bit of a pub chuck after another bream last night really um, but you know Atlantic crab small PVA bag golf ball size doing the business and uh, I'm so thrilled with that one such an epic fish and uh, so good to get a carp so uh, oh, I think Ian's in as well <laughs> right well we'll get this one back and uh, see if he manages to catch a fish as well but lovely stuff right so you saw that I had that um, absolutely fantastic common um, absolutely over the moon with that and uh, it's such a nice fish such a nice fish and uh, Ian while I caught that um, his rob was going um, and he's got bit of a brute of a mirror to be honest um, but it's tipped the scales at 27 pounds uh, that was on uh, funny enough the Atlantic crab uh, pink pop-up as well um, which is exactly the same as what I have mine on and uh, yeah I say a bit of a bit of a oh yeah brute of a fish um, yeah he's not not gonna win any awards for kind of best looking but lovely fish all the same um, he's completely made up Ian's off the mark as well um, Adam's off the mark I'm off the mark we just need Charlie to catch a carp now um, but anyway 10 minutes later this happens 
Right, there we go. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Ian's just put his fish back 10 minutes ago. His was 27 pounds. This is also 27 pounds. What a morning we've had. It's been absolute chaos. And uh, it's really switched on this changing conditions and absolutely chuffed with that. I'll just show you the other side. There we go. There's the other side of that fish. 27 pounds on the nose. It's starting to turn into a pretty good session. Let's get him back. So from quite a frustrating start to the session, um, getting lots and lots of small bream, the odd nice tench. Actually, Adam actually, <laughs> Adam actually caught a two pound roach um, on a on a ten mil wafter last night. And uh, I tell you what, two two pound roach that is that's a specimen fish. You know, that's an absolute beaut. So uh, he was pretty happy with that. I'll just show you a quick photo. So yeah, to go from, you know not having had a fish to all of a sudden having a uh, 27 mirror um 25 for uh, common carp brace a fish like that within the space of an hour i'm absolutely buzzing ian to get off the mark as well it's been a really really productive morning and uh it's kind of happened as the, as the conditions have changed it was really hot the first couple of days um there's a, a, a real breeze and we're expecting thunder and lightning tonight so it could be a bit dicey um but it might just switch the fish on so if we can get one or two more that would be absolutely brilliant uh, but for now um, we are going to wind our rods in go to a pub down the road get a sunday roast recharge the batteries kind of recharge the old pint wanton tank i don't know have, have a pint have a chill just kind of hit the reset button come back fully focused i think we know what we're doing tonight um, try and get a fish uh, primarily Charlie um, it'd be nice to see him catch because then we've all caught that'll make a pretty good weekend to be honest so um, so yeah what I would say about the venue um, I came here using solid bags um, pellet corn hemp uh, boilie and uh, picking up tench bream uh, I kind of switched to a runny rig a little pink Atlantic crab um, pop-ups I'm not sure if you can see this uh, I'll just show you um, that's basically it lead clip washed out pink Atlantic crab pop up uh, good scattering of Atlantic crab freebies around it and uh, that's what's done Ian's fish that's what's done my two fish um, and I think Adam's as well so uh, yeah not really working on the solids this time uh, for a change but it's a slight little tweak um, and we're starting to catch a few, so uh, yeah, right, let's go get a roast dinner. Right then, uh, just got back from the old uh, dog and badger, had a lovely uh, pork belly and a couple of pints of Estrella, and uh, back on the lake, feeling fully focused, and uh, no rods out yet got about an hour to get them out before a pretty horrific storm comes across that's going to last most of, most of the night. We're looking at thunder, lightning, rain. Um, we're going to have to be pretty careful but apparently that kind of weather here can switch on the fish. Um, we certainly noticed the difference in the last 24 hours, the changing conditions. So um, yeah, pretty excited to see um, what tonight brings really. So we're going to work hard now, get the rods back out there and go. Right, I was just saying about 45 minutes ago, we just really want Charlie to catch, so it's a clean sweep. Look what you've got and done, mate. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, just going into the final evening, so we're obviously off, off in the morning, and it's been pretty hard graft. Um, I just can't believe it. Um, just size was irrelevant when you just really want to catch a carp. Um, but it's gone over the 20 mark, so like I say, I, I'd, I'd have taken any carp to be fair. But yeah, I feel like I've worked hard for it, so we'll slip her back and oh, I'm not even bothered if I have any more. That's a result for me. There you go, thank you very much. Oh, come on. 
Nice, mate. Nice, clean, sweet. Oh, Doesn't have to so happen on these Right, I've just come round to an area where I've been baiting up. I've not put a great deal of bait in here. I like scattering. But it's, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, it's really, really fizzing up there now. So, um, I'm going to quietly reel in one of my other rods. Drop a bait on the fish. that are clearly feeding on the bottom there, just off it. A few singles around it and some crumb in a bag. And sit on it for half an hour to see if I can nick whatever's causing that disturbance and making all the bubbles. Right, I'm gonna get on with it now. There we go, 33 pounds, six ounces. It's a new PB for me and a, a first 30 pound. Size has never been important to me. I'm um, just catching them. Um, April 2011 uh, is my last PB. Uh, 29 pound one mirror cart from the new Forest Water Park. And it's been a long 10 years uh, before breaking it, but to do it on this social, um, with these guys um, makes it even more special and uh, yeah I, honestly I can't believe it I'm so happy unbelievable and to kind of stalk it out of that swim where I saw the bubbles as well oh it doesn't get better than that I can't think of a better way than to end this session with a new PB all of us catching carp unbelievable let's get you back come on right I thought I'd quickly show you the other side because it's even better than that side. What a fish. Now I'm really gonna get him back and say goodbye. See you next time. No, no. Well done, mate. Can't even grumble with that. See you next time.